Welcome into the South Hockey Radio Network, everybody live on Mixler on the radio side, and of course, of course Twitch on the TV side, courtesy of Gerard Boris on the camera. My name is Dylan Ward, and we've got John Ward, my father, right back here in the booth for another one. And John, the Titans are playing the same team as they did last time out, but it's a much different situation. This is the SHL playoffs, and after 27 regular season games, the Titans had the best regular season they've ever had since the SHL was created in 2012, and that leads them to home ice advantage in game one for the first time ever, and boy, this is where the test becomes real. Yeah, listen, this is really exciting. Thanks for inviting me along for the ride, Dylan, and uh, we watched this team play. We watched both of these teams play the last game of the season. Of course, GBS came out on a 5 nothing uh, on the good side of that game, and so we got to look for some of that same magic here. Some of the big players for GBS really showed up. They had to. They hadn't been showing up for the last couple of games, so they really put it together and uh, sent a little bit of a message, although this is playoff hockey, and who knows what's gonna happen. I do know if you look at the stat sheets, um, no matter what they say, you know, you gotta lace them up, you gotta play the game, and, uh, and see who's gonna come out at the winner. Of course, there's a reason you play these games instead of just saying, hey, let's have the final between the top two. This is a league, John, where there's 10 teams, eight of them make the playoffs. So, you know, regular season's all about kind of getting ready for this moment. And now at the end of the game tonight, after about two hours from right now, one of these teams is going to be in a situation where they can clinch the series on Sunday, of course. Here in the SHL, it's a best two out of three style again. And for those of you watching or listening, don't get this confused with the state playoffs, which will happen later this month. Those will start late February and end on March 19th. That's when the state championship at the United Center is. This is the conference tournament. This is SHL teams only, and GBS has never finished top four in this league ever. They ended up being the two seed after they beat this very same St. Viator Lions team a week ago from yesterday. Yeah, and Dylan, you can't count on taking that first game either, because if you look at uh, a couple of the uh, last season, season before that playoff record, St. Viator won the first game on a best of three, lost the next two, got kicked out of the series. GBS lost the first game of a best of three, won the next two. So the first game, not a predictor, and so, but you still got to play it, and it's uh, you know, it's still a good deal to get that first win. I don't care which way you look at some of the uh, end results of past performances. Well, GBS, of course, prior to that game was on a bit of a tough stretch. In the last three games before that last game against St. Vider, they only scored one goal. In six of those games, they only scored two or fewer, but obviously, a fast start is so important against the St. Viator Lions side. When they score the first goal, they're 9-1-1. One, and, one. and John, when they trail the Lions, when they trail after the first period, they haven't won a game this season. Well, that's why you're going to have to depend on Winger to bring it. Uh, the GBS goaltender, uh, he put up a goose egg for uh, St. Viator last time they played. And of course, you know, you keep them to zero goals, you're going to win every single game. And so it'll be uh, really dependent on him to let his team get, you know, a goal, two, three lead, and then they can skate hard and finish it off at the end. Speaking of winger, no surprise, he gets the nod from head coach Jim Philbin. 15, seven and two record, 1.18 goals against average, 935 save percentage, six shutouts in SHL play in the 24 games he's played in. On the other end, it's. Dominic Grimaldi, so we've got the same goaltending matchup as we did last week. Two 6-5 goals against average and an 8-9-8 save percentage. Two shutouts to his name. And speaking of lineups, John, something that we failed to mention here early in the broadcast, a big piece of the puzzle back for Glenbrook South. Jack Mulvey back in the lineup after a six-game absence and his dad, of course, right behind us, just in time to hear that, gave a little fist bump to him. Yeah, it'll be nice to call Jack Mulvey's name. He's been sorely missed. He's a big part of this team. 
uh, been all season long. And now that the playoffs are starting, you want all of your players out ready to go. And especially uh, look for the seniors to have a fun time as they make uh, what's going to be their last run. And here we go. We're about ready to start. Not just the first game of this series. First puck drop of the 2023 SHL playoffs is underway as the Lions take possession here at Glenview Ice Center. Owen Almberg, who was recently named to all SHL, gave it up Massaro. Here's a nice move and a backhander by Sean Nutley goes wide of the net. Real early chance for St. Vider. Now Jason Van down the left wing side. It deflects off Carson Hart and goes into the Lions bench for our first stoppage just 20 seconds in. That was a good move by Nutley, came over the blue line, hugging the far wall, and then he just did kind of a Wayne Gretzky stop and go and then moved right into the center and gave his team a good chance to start this game. GBS in their three meetings with the Lions this season, five goals scored in each of those meetings. 15 total is the most against any particular team in the SHL this season. Let's see if their offense can get things going again here. Wojula back to Owen Allenberg behind his own goal line. To the far side half boards Van. Couldn't get it past Nutley, so here comes Angelo Massaro. Shoots from the left circle and that goes high of winger's net again. Two good scoring opportunities for the Lions. Both were shot wide of the cage. Now Struinski below the Titan goal line. Comes to the near side corner and Owen Almberg. Try and get it out to neutralize, he did, but it goes past Wojula and all the way down it will be a Titan icing and they'll take a D zone face off. Yeah, I'd give the first two minutes the same Viter here. Most of the play has been in the GBS zone. I think it looks like GBS is just trying to get their feet, trying to get rid of some of the nerves and then I think they're gonna show up here in a minute or two. Jack Mulvey with his first bit of ice time gets ready for the faceoff and wins it. Back to Vanderplug. Taken away by Hoffman. Now to Adrian Sokol in the slot. Got it out to Wyatt Sherwood. Pass to the near side. Nick Ventura dumps it down. Grimaldi gets his first touch of the puck. Sets it up. And the Lions will clear it out to neutral ice. Finding it is Hoffman. He shoots off the post. That beat Winger, but not the iron. And kneeling on the rebound from the Left point, got that one wide. Asher Vanderplug to the near side half boards. Given up to Hoffman, he takes a backhander. That's stuffed by the Titans. Now out to neutral ice. Boy, St. Vider, you can tell immediately. They do not want to be counted out of this series. Again, GBS as the two seed, Vider as the seventh seed. They're skating with a ton of confidence right now. Vanderplug can't get it out of the zone. Kneeling takes away. O'Neill then shoots, and that's blocked by the legs of Adrian Sokol. Down to the far side half board, still inside Titans territory, where most of the game's been played so far. Adrian Sokol can't get it past Hennigan. To the near side boards, a battle for the puck. It goes down below the goal line. Vanderplug at the end of a long shift. Got it to his defensive partner, Adrian Sokol who gets this all the way down, will not go far enough for icing. Titans will switch up on defense and the Lions get the puck again. Aiden O'Neill to Dylan Herr, tip to the head. Michael Algrim back there in the corner. Another board battle, the right side corner. Hennigan steals it, gets a, gets a shot away and that's stopped by Winger, his first save of the game. This is chipped out to neutral ice. Would have gone for an icing, but Vider decides to grab it and keep the play going. Dylan Herrer, Freemuth now. It goes out to neutral, and Sean Wilson, named to the All-SHL second team, the only St. Vider Lion on either of the first or second All-SHL teams. Now Grant Lochran. Got it out to neutral. Wilson tipped it back into the zone, but it would have been offside. Jason Van now down to the corner with it. 13.30 to go in the first period. Only shot on goal of this game belongs to the Lions. Here's Olmberg, his shot goes way high and into the protective netting, out of play, stopping the clock. Dylan, I would say that Zane Vierders looked at that stat sheet too, because obviously they want the first goal. They're playing really, really hard. Uh, 
wingers had to take a lot of looks. Defensive men on GBS have had to make a couple of blocks. So I don't think they know what hit them here in the first couple minutes here. But they've got uh, Jack Mulvey now to take this draw in the offensive zone. We'll see what happens. And the puck eventually possessed by the Lions. Massaro can't get it past Olmberg. Owen Olmberg plays it below the goal line. This one zooms out to neutral ice and Neeling will find it, dump it back down. Taken away by the Lions, Massaro backhander and that's blocked by the skate of Owen Olmberg. On the rebound, a shot thrown to the net by Neeling goes wide. Angelo Massaro. Takes a shot, stopped by the pad of Winger, on the rebound, Hoffman tried a backhand turnaround shot, but he didn't get enough wood on it. Now Jack Mulvey to Nick Ventura, and this goes all the way down, it will be another icing. Quiet whistle there. You know, Dylan, what, the one natural consequence when you're being pressurized by the other team is that you might commit a foul and have to go to the penalty box. So uh, GBS better watch out for that as they're trying to uh, you know, really scamper and get this puck out of the zone because they're being pressured by St. Viter so much. Another D zone face off. 50-50 puck, no true possession yet. Finally, Adrian Sokol can't get it out. Couple at the point, shoots, that's blocked. 12.20 to go in the opening frame. Here's O'Neal, tried to tip it past, but that didn't work out. Eric Steenstrup springs ahead, Mac Callahan. Callahan was screened by Neeling, and it results in St. Vider to get the puck again. Wenzel dumps it down. Winger plays it to the far side. Here's Zach Fremuth who broke a scoring drought last game. To the near side for Vanderplug, but it's dumped back in by the backhand of Wenzel. And now we get a whistle. I don't see an arm in the air, John. I Maybe a hand pass? figure out what the whistle was for. I think that was a hand pass, and so it will be a face off here in. GBS's zone, I believe. Eleven forty-six to go in the first period. Titans still looking for their first shot on goal. Lions have three. Winger stopped all of them. Face off in neutral ice, won by the Lions. Sean Wilson will dump it down. Ryan Mulvey couldn't hang on to the puck. Here's a centering pass, Dylan Herrer shoots after gloving it down and that goes wide. Boy, it's not just the shots on goal, St. Vider's got the edge, it's shot attempts as well, they've had a plenty of missed shots. Jason Van, who scored his 50th career varsity goal last game, brings it into the zone. Didn't get past Hart and Freemuth gets it below the goal line. Dylan Herrer. Out to Massaro. Angelo Massaro, one on two, gets around Ryan Mulvey, all the way to the net, gets a good shot away, and Luke Winger closes the door. Now the net off its posts. They're gonna let the play continue with possession for the Titans. Now Fremont slides it to Ban at the slot. It's being pressured by Hart and centered it, but right to Sean Wilson. Adrian Sokol, skating back in his own end. Gave it away to Struinski and he dumps it down. Holmberg to Nick Ventura, near side half boards. Taken away by Struinski again. Vitaly Struinski up to Jones. Struinski again, right circle, lost it. Nick Ventura will take over, but can't get it past him. And unable to get it outside the defensive zone. Boris can't keep this in the zone, so he will pass it back to Jones. Back to Boris again with Nick Ventura pressuring. A race to the puck down in the corner. Centering pass, here's Ventura, backhander, and that's stopped by Grimaldi, and there is the Titans' first shot on goal. Grimaldi makes the save. Nick Ventura looking to add on to his two-goal night last Tuesday. Yeah, Ventura just picked up the puck at the blue line, 
and just did a cut move right to the middle, went to his backhand, got the shot away and made Grimaldi make a save, which is just the first one. I was just gonna say, he's sitting down there getting cold, that could be an advantage to GBS. Pajerski right off the draw, puts that over the crossbar. Now down to the far corner, Dylan Monaghan shoots, then that misses the net wide to the left. Jeff and Zhang can't get it past Sokol, who just barely kept it in the zone momentarily, but then it does deflect into the St. Viator bench for a stoppage with 9.31 to go in the first. Dylan, you brought up something important. Uh, St. Viator only has four shots on net, but if you ask me, there's probably been 10 to 12 scoring chances. Nervous, pucks going to the net, being tipped by skates, missing the post by one or two inches. So there's been a close call a lot more than four times. This is certainly a historic Lumber of South Titans team when you look at the history of the SHL. The Titans in the history of this league have never missed the playoffs, of course. Eight out of 10 teams make it. I'll hold that thought. Fremont shoots, and the save by Grimaldi. Rebound is picked up by the Lions, and they get it out to neutral ice. That's GBS's best scoring look so far, without a doubt. Yeah, two on one, Freemuth and Wojula. Good, two, good tandem to have coming in on two on one. Zach Freemuth will dump this one down. Goes to couple. To finish my point from earlier, in the history of this league, GBS with a three and 17 record in playoff games as Luke Winger makes a nice save on Masaro. Two of those three wins came last season where they won their first playoff series since the league was founded in 2012. The only other win they had was the game two against GBN in the 2018 playoffs. They lost that series in three. Gotta watch out for Masaro. I think he's been the same, best save biter player on the ice so far. He just got off the ice, which is good for GBS but he's really flying tonight. Of course, he was the guy who tied the game up in that crazy 8-7 game. St. Ryder played against their rival Stevenson. Jack Mulvey trying to put it through the legs of Carson Hart could not do that. So here comes Wenzel the other way. He takes a shot top of the left circle and Winger steers it aside. Six to three, the Lions lead. Shots on goal, we are still scoreless. Here in period one in Glenview, Wyatt Sherwood shoots and Grimaldi makes a nice looking save. God, what an exciting shot by Sherwood. Just from the top of the left circle, put it between the legs of the St. Fire defenseman, but uh, Grimaldi really showed the leather there. Uh, just waiting to the last second and then snapping out his hand and grabbing that puck out of the air. Nice powerful wrist shot too. It actually made Grimaldi work a little bit there. Dean Strip Stevens Callahan line is back out there and they work very well together. They are reunited now that Jack Mulvey is back in the lineup. Again, if you're joining us late, Mulvey missed the last six games with an injury. Definitely good to have him back in the lineup just in time for playoff game one. Jake Neeling, taken away by Will Stevens. Stevens behind the net, looking for an option. Hangs onto the puck, right in front of the St. Viator student section. Steenstrip finds it, gets a shot away. That's on target, but the save is made now. Stevens to the blue paint, and Grimaldi will hang onto it with his glove. 7.39 to go in the first period. It was all St. Viator early in this game, but GBS the better team as of the last three, four minutes or so. Yeah, but GBS had a nice effort there. Stevens did the right thing, picked the puck off the goal line and didn't think about passing it, just took it right to the goalie himself. The only thing he could have done is just uh, maybe elevated that puck a little bit and then uh, probably would have had a better chance tight in against Grimaldi. Face off win for GBS in the attacking zone. Goes down to Adam Sokol who had quite the celebration after scoring his second goal of the season last game against the Lions. Now Pajerski taking away, here's Vitaly Struwinski kept alive momentarily by Sokol, but then they get it out to neutral ice. The pass was intended for Hoffman, but it went past him. So GBS will take over. Not so fast as Wenzel. He takes a shot, and that missed the cage. Pajerski ahead to Adam Sokol. 
Sokol into the zone, left wing side. His shot is blocked by Jones. Now, here's Monaghan, and he couldn't get that on target. Adrian Sokol plays back, and John, we're seeing the physicality start to pick up a little bit. These two teams, not necessarily natural rivals. But this Adrian Sokol shot hit the side of the net. We definitely saw the physicality pick up last game between these two teams, and when you play a best two out of three for playoff rights on the line, no matter which two teams are playing against each other, you're gonna get some physicality no matter what. Here's Lochran, that took a crazy deflection, and it's stopped by Grimaldi. 6.20 to go in the opening frame, scoreless here in Glenview. Yeah, so far, Dylan, it's been some really healthy play out there. Guys are starting to get, get their legs underneath them, and they're starting to throw the bodies around a little bit. Always feels good to get, put a good hit on somebody. Gotta watch out, I thought the St. Viter player came across the middle of the ice and did a little bit of head hunting there. I didn't catch that number, but uh, one of the GBS players uh, went down, but he didn't make full contact, so lucky for that. Remuth and Ban out there in the 15 goals the Titans have scored against the Lions in three games. Remuth and Ban are responsible for nine of them. The captain passes to his alternate, Almberg. Looking for another A, but Jason Ban couldn't collect that one cleanly. Massaro centered it. Nutley takes a shot. No one knew where the puck was for a second, but ultimately it comes free to Wojcicki. Intercepted, here's Nutley. He shoots in Luke Winger. Makes a great save, reaching out his left pad to prevent that one from getting by. What a stop. Interception by Wilson again. Sean Wilson shoots, and that hit the crossbar. Maybe a piece of the post as well, right in that top corner. Jason Van over the line, down the left wing side. Van played it off the boards to get around a referee. He's being pressured by a couple of white sweaters. And the puck leaks outside the neutral ice. Callahan will dump it in. Carson Hart out of midair. Settles it down for himself, then gets it to P.J. Hennigan. who will dump this in, broke his stick in the process. And Lochran got it to Callahan. Now over to Steenstrup in neutral ice. Eric Steenstrup dumps this one down, bounces off the end boards, and Grimaldi will take a breather and put a glove on it, stopping play with 4.51 to go. On a little bit of a lighter note, I gotta take a look down at the St. Viator. Uh, uh, crowd section and see which parent is crying because after one of these $250 sticks breaks, you know, somebody's got to pay for that. So, uh, wow, what a couple stops uh, by both of the goaltenders. So, still got a 0 0 scoreboard. Let's see who's going to put the first goal up. It's going to be important. Again, St. Vider without a win when they trail after one, nine wins in 11 games when they lead after one. Very important to either have the lead or be tied if you're GBS. Adrian Sokol with a nice play to not touch that puck and avoid a possible too many men on the ice call. Lochran can't get it past kneeling. Now Adrian Sokol pokes it out to neutral. Wyatt Sherwood to Nick Ventura. Ventura tried a toe drag to get around kneeling but lost the puck. And a hit into the near boards, Jeff and Zhang. He grew up in Beijing. Couldn't get it past a Titan defender. And it'll go down to Wenzel. Jake kneeling over the line down the left wing side. Got around two Titan defenders. Didn't take a shot. Tries a backhand wrap around, but he got stuffed. And Jason Van's okay with an icing here. Stopping the clock with 3.41 to go in the first. Well, still, even though GBS has put a couple offensive threats on the board here, you've got to watch out in the defensive play for GBS. They, they look very lackadaisical on some of their breakout passes. Like they're kind of you know, hitting a backhander or a forehander. Looks like they're only using about half the energy. They have to be a little bit more urgent, right? This is playoff time, and uh, you know they got to protect winger here. This puck goes to the far boards, onto neutral ice. To be 
close to offside, so it won't matter now. As Hoffman dumps it back in. Vanderplug to Sokol. Touch pass to Freemuth. Freemuth with a no looker to ban. Got it back to Freemuth. Zach Freemuth to the high slot. Shoots, that took a deflection. Sitting there in the slot and St. Viator gets the puck safe. Throws it out to neutral ice. Adrian Sokol to Asher Vanderplug. Given up, here's Dylan Herrer. Plays it to Wenzel who gives it right up to Freemuth. Zach Freemuth entering the zone down the right wing side. Freemuth lost the puck. Wenzel will try and clear it out. Sokol keeps it alive. Now to Ban. Jason Ban at the left point. Adrian Sokol shoots. That got stuffed. Rebound. Casper Wojula tries to tip it by and the whistle sounds. And I'm not sure if that was an unintentional whistle because the referee thought that the goaltender had it or not. We stopped with 2.40 to go in the first. Unfortunately for GBS, the referee blew his whistle. That puck was loose, and uh, GBS was buzzing around that net. And it looked like the last person who was just about to put their stick on it was Zach Freemuth. So we could have had a different story, but the ref blew the whistle because there's too many bodies in front of the net. He couldn't see the puck. Game one of the 2023 SHL playoffs. That's two out of three series here in the quarterfinals. GBS has never won an opening game in a playoff series. That's close to offsides. No whistle. Massaro takes the shot, and that's stopped by Luke Winger. Yeah, some people thought that might have been a hand pass. I might be one of them. <laughs> and so if uh, St. Viator had scored on that play, that would have been pretty frustrating that the ref did not call that right in the, the neutral ice zone. Jack Mulvey looking to continue where he left off before his six game absence. He had five points in five games, three of those goals, two assists. Number 37 in black out there at the faceoff circle. Now Wyatt Sherwood through the neutral zone. Over the blue line, takes a spill. And there's a penalty called by the trailing referee. Boy, I thought that. He had just fallen down, so the Titans may have just gotten a break. You know, that might have been a late uh, raised hand, too, because when the GBS player went down, uh, who was that player that was coming in? I don't know, he was moving awful fast, and it did look like it was questionable on the trip. But I actually looked at both referees right after that happened, and I didn't see an arm up. So to me, I think that was a late call, and I even think the uh, St. Viator cheering crowd uh, complained about it, like, you know, maybe four or five seconds after it happened, so I think it just was a late raised hand. Jack Kuffel had only two penalty minutes in the regular season, and two of them were last game. Here's Jason Ban, one-timer from the right circle. He got all of that shot, but Grimaldi saw it all the way. Yeah, he got a good line of sight on that shot, but it still looked really cool. That was uh, Freemuth coming across, cutting through the center, right around the blue line, and then feeding it to the circle for a one-timer. Um, looked pretty professional to me, Dylan. St. Viator this season scored four shorthanded goals. Two of them were against the Titans in one game. One period, as a matter of fact. GBS looking to keep cooking on the power play. Almberg to Ryan Mulvey. Now down to Wojula. Wojula to Ryan Mulvey. Now Zach Freemuth's got it. He scored a power play goal last game. Freemuth to Almberg. Down to Ban. Up high to Almberg. Owen gets it to Jason and he shoots. Another one timer and that's off the pads of Grimaldi. And the Lions will force it out down to GBS's end. Dan, Dan really has his timing on because he's lighting those things up on those one-timers. Zach Freemuth with a sneaky move to get around Hoffman, then he gets taken down. It's gonna be a penalty. And Wenzel touches the puck. And with 57 seconds to go in the initial call, the Titans will get nearly a minute here on a two-man advantage. That was a little bit of a tripping plus because I thought a little bit of a knee contact on that one. So good thing that uh, uh, Freemuth is still skating around. 
Uh, it was also a good thing that GBS gave up the puck. As soon as they give up the puck, the more seconds they have with a two-man advantage versus a one-man advantage. Jack Mulvey ready for the faceoff. Five on three for GBS with a minute seven to go in the opening period. St. Vider wins the faceoff, but it goes right back to the Titans. It's Jack Mulvey. Over to Grant Lochran. Now Adrian Sokol shoots, and that gets deflected wide. Mulvey picks it up. Jack over to Grant. Lochran to Adrian Sokol. Sokol to Lochran. Lochran back for Sokol. He shoots, and that gets deflected high by Grimaldi. He got a piece. They try and clear it out, but Lochran keeps it alive. Now down to Adrian Sokol again. He shoots, and Grimaldi another stop. 30 seconds to go in the period. Jack Mulvey up high. Grant Lochran down to Mulvey. He shoots, and that's just high of the crossbar. He was trying to sneak it through. Grant Lochran shoots. That's blocked by Sean Wilson, and they clear it out to neutral ice. First penalty is over. It's back to a five on four. There's nine to go in this period. In neutral ice, they battle for it. The puck goes to neutral ice, and Kneeling tips it down into the Titan zone, and they will run out of time. The St. Vider Lions side of the rink here to our right applauds. A good period by their number seven seeded team against one of the favorites to win this tournament. Hey, listen, a two, uh, two man advantage. Grimaldi comes out of his cage uh, during this uh, when the clock goes down to zero and really gave his fellow players a pat on the back, you know, for saving them. That was a pretty intense time for him. Uh, with the possession by GBS in that zone and really buzzing around that net. I did notice that Jason Ban, or excuse me, Sokol, uh, had a couple of really, really, you know, he's got that heavy shot and it's quick, it's fast, but I also saw him strategizing by lo lowering the speed of the shot a couple times, looking for some tips and deflections as it made its way to the net. It didn't work out, but I think it's a pretty good strategy with all those players there. Teams will switch sides. The Titans looking to continue a six game undefeated in regulation streak against St. Vider. That's only an SHL play. Of course, they did lose to them in regulation. That was an 8 a.m. start in West Dundee in the Ho Ho tournament. I know Sam Schwartz might be watching. I think he was there. So, Sam, maybe I'm a little happy you're not at this one. <laughs> I am looking at the uh, the stat sheets that you have, Dylan, which are really helpful for each broadcast. And I am noticing that, you know, the if you look at the regular season, it, it, the paper says that GBS would like to not be at home for this starting game. But they are here. Maybe that contributed to some of the nerves that we saw in that first period. So let's see if, um, you know, you know, they can just get fluid, get smooth make better decisions with the puck, make faster decisions, and uh, come out uh, ahead of in this game in this period. Of course, John, you're referring to the Titans with a better record on the road than at home this season. Face off won by GBS, of course. They only had four home games up until the end of December. That's in the SHL, of course. They had a couple non-league games, actually three of them against CCHL teams. But then they finish with eight of nine at home here at Glenview Ice Center. So still a power play for 25 more seconds. Can't get it out. Jason Ban now down to Zach Freemuth. Freemuth to Almberg, slap shot, and that's into the glove of Grimaldi. Good save by Grimaldi. A little bit more on the basic side. His line of sight was clear. You know, slap shots, you know, at this level, you know, are probably going to be seen most of the time. So Grimaldi made that one look a little easy. Greenup and Wenzel to take the face off at the right dot. Titans attacking zone, they win it. Back to Owen Allenberg, another slap shot, and that gets blocked before Grimaldi got a piece. Now here's another shot by Owen, and Grimaldi got the save that time. And now the second penalty is over. So the Lions have killed two GBS power plays within those one minute 
of a two-man advantage. Struinski. Out to Hoffman. Hoffman dropped it off. Struinski shoots. Hoffman got a tip on it and it goes wide of the net. Now Jake kneeling. Down below the goal line. Looked like he wanted to try a Michigan right there. That didn't work out. And it goes out to neutral ice. Should I say uh, Deacon Rose? Well, we're glad that he did it because it screwed up their play. Here comes Hoffman. Trying to get around Olmberg, he could not. Ryan Mulvey will send this the length, and it's a stoppage for the icing with 15 15 to go in the second scoreless game here in Glenview. And the St. Vider student section giving the officials an earful. Well, they're small, but it's loud. <laughs> I count. So, um, and Winger's down there, so he's gonna hear some, right. some good old high school fun. Adrian Sokol. Callahan, now Vanderplug in the corner. Titans defensive end, Jeff and Zhang tried to center it, but that goes right to Will Stevens. Asher Vanderplug tried to get it to Steenstrup, but it missed, and it's an icing. 14.54 to go in the second period. The Titans and Lions have a little bit of playoff history, especially when you look at the 2020 playoffs. St. Viator and GBS faced off in the first round. St. Viator swept them with an overtime win and a 4-1 to one win. Prior to that, John, St. Viator swept them in the regular season as well, but then GBS beat them 4-0 in the state quarterfinals in what ended up being the final game played for the Titans in that canceled tournament due to the pandemic. And again with a backhander, and that goes wide of the right post. Vanderplug to Callahan. Taken away by Hennigan again. He shoots and that's blocked by a Titans skate. Now out to neutral ice again and the Titans will be guilty of icing here for the third time in the last minute. Yeah, I think that that's indicative of what kind of pressure St. Viator's putting on GBS. The GBS players, uh, they're running out of, uh, uh, you know, they're getting tired because they're getting caught on the ice for longer shifts than they want to have. And so they're going to throw that puck down, you know, every time as the safety measure to be able to, uh, you know, take a break. Before the game last week in the regular season between these teams, St. Viator had a streak of multiple goals in five of six periods straight. Now after nothing in the first, they've been shut out for the last four periods. All of that due to Luke Winger. Hart can't get this one down low and it'll rebound all the way down to the Lions end. Ryan Mulvey being pressured by Nutley. Sean Nutley got it. Below the goal line, Nutley drops it off for Massaro. Angelo Massaro centered it. That's almost put in by Freemuth to his own net, but he tipped it away. Jason Van now drops it off for Freema. Jason Van shoots, and that goes just wide of the far post. Sean Nutley now into the zone. Nutley tried to get it to his man, but it's taken away by Van. Jason Van missed Ventura with a pass, and it'll go down to St. Vider zone. Carson Hart. Takes a shot, that stop in and out of the glove of Winger, and then another try, misses the net, and the chip on the rebound is stopped by Luke Winger. And John, I mean, if you're someone who likes offense, this is about as exciting of a 0-0 game you're gonna have so far. Yeah, and Winger made a great play off that shot from the point that sailed past him and the net, hit the backboard, and then bounced kind of funny back towards him with the St. Viter player there trying to tip it back over his shoulder and he just closed his whole body on it. Really good uh, save there. Luke Winger 
Flex this one out to neutral ice and Neeling will dump it down. Titans trying to be victorious in game one of an SHL playoff series for the first time ever. Look to set up a series clinching situation on Sunday afternoon over at Mount Prospect Ice Arena. 2 p.m., that's when the second game of this best of three will take place. Game three will be back here at the Glenview Ice Center if necessary, but no confirmed date or time yet. Eric Steenstrup takes a hit, but gets a shot towards the net on his way down. And it's an easy steer aside for Grimaldi. Well, that looks offsides, and John, I heard you <laughs> mutter it under your breath, and I was about to say it if you didn't. 11.57 to go in the second period. Still waiting for our first goal here in Glenview. Titans lead shots 13 to 12. What I haven't seen so far, Dylan, is GBS's speed. If they can just hit a GBS player in a full stride, moving into the off offensive zone, that's how they're gonna get around the defenseman. They're just gonna be too fast. They just haven't done it yet. Down to the corner by the Tactic Sports Performance logo on the boards. Jones towards the net, looking for a tip by Struinski, but didn't get it. So Adrian Sokol plays it to Lochran. Grant Lochran looking for a steam strip there. A stick. Leaves the hands of Jones, but he gets it back. This time it's still intact. And Adrian Sokol will play it off the boards, but not out. Struinski keeps it alive. Steenstrup intercepts that. Eric Steenstrup gets taken down from behind. No penalty called this time. A couple of arms in the air here from the Titans side of fans here at Columbia Ice Center. I thought that was the most obvious penalty yet. Jason Van slides around a couple defenders, then throws it to the net from his patented left side. Dominic Grimaldi makes another save. It's his 14th. He's been perfect so far. I thought what a great decision by Jason Van as he moved into the blue line, picked up that puck. He actually didn't shoot the, the puck just because it was just him and the goalie on a clear line. He actually moved into a more crowded place and tried to get it between people's legs. I thought that was a good decision. Good shot, better save by Grimaldi. Puck falls. St. Vider's got it. Nutley springs ahead Angelo Massaro. He has a partial break. Takes a shot. And Luke Winger, about five feet out of his blue paint, makes the save. Best one of the night, Dylan. Best one of the night. You had the St. Vider player coming up and just really, really was trying to pick his spot. Winger just closed the door on him. In the season series, GBS with a 6-2 goal differential against St. Vider in the second period. Nothing here in this period yet. As this one deflects away, Carson Hart takes a shot and that just goes wide. Barely keeps it in the zone, says the linesman. That shot gets steered away. Zach Fremuth with the puck. Gets it to Ryan Mulvey. Now Jason Van taken away by the Lions. Goes back for Ryan Mulvey. Owen Almberg can't get it past Massaro. He shoots from a tough angle, and Luke Winger makes another save. The SHL Goalie of the Year, as announced on. I believe that was Monday. Here's Jason Van taking a shot just after stepping over the blue line. That's stopped by Grimaldi. Now Fremuth on a point blank chance. Pass from Van and Grimaldi with another save. Now Hennigan into the zone. Down to the corner, Almberg throws it to Grant Lockrit. Boy, this is the game for you if you are a fan of great goaltending. The offense is definitely there. This game could easily be 2-2, maybe even 3-3 by now, based on the chances we've seen. And now a St. Vider line taken down the right 
side of the bleachers here. Shocked that that's not a penalty, but we will play on. Now a Titan taken down, and then a big hit into the end boards by Mulvey against uh, Jeff and Zang. O'Neal, taken away by Zang. The guy who just took the hit, he will backhand it down into the zone. And Luke Winger lets it fall into his gloves in this battle of two SHL All-Star goalies. Yeah, this has been a goalies contest, 16 and 15 shots respectively. GBS had their best chance of the night. Jason Band took a shot, got the puck back, blocked it, went behind the net, and then a nifty pass out in front to Zach Freeman and Grimaldi was, he just stood the test. He just got that body in front of it, but it's exciting play. Getting a little nerve wracking now, the longer we go without any goals. Dominic Grimaldi, of course, St. Vider Lions goaltender down on the opposite side than what's on your screen right now. Sort of an inconsistent goalie when you look at the stats. There have been six instances this season where he's allowed four plus, and there have been eight times where he allows one or fewer. Yeah, I mean, I you know, that's a little bit tough for a coach, you know, and to uh, to know which guy is showing up. Um, we're hoping that the uh, the the four or more guy is showing up. <laughs> to show for it for the Titans as this bouncing knuckle puck. Nearly fooled Winger, but he stayed on top of it. Still nothing on the board here at Glenview Ice Center with 8.14 to go in the second period. Game one of the SHL quarterfinals. Yeah, a couple got that shot, took that shot at the blue line, heading straight for Winger. There's nobody in between him and the shooter, but the problem was it was bouncing off the ice. Good fundamentals, get set, get the foundation set and just make sure it hits the middle of your body. Neutral ice, it's Kuffle. He will backhand it down to the Titans' end. That's grabbed by the glove of Grant Lochran. Missed Wojtyla with a pass. And there is an icing called. I thought maybe that might have touched something. Yeah, I just thought it would touch the same by her player there on the, back, uh, on the far side of the ice, but. Both teams will make line changes. It's good for the Titans perspective not to be trailing after the first period. St. Biders tied with Stevenson for the best first period goal differential in the SHL at a plus 13 mark. In the second and third combined, the Lions are minus one in terms of that GD. Adrian Sokol off the glass. It'll go all the way down and it should be another icing. Sean Wilson wanted to play that, it appeared, but they will call it anyway. 7.37 to go in the second. Lions with the edge and shot. 17 to 15 here in this scoreless game. Normally I would say, Dylan, when you have power plays and a team has a two-man advantage, you gotta watch out because the referees are possibly looking to even this up a little bit, even with just one penalty. But uh, uh, St. Viator is a more penalized team by a long shot. And so for them to have two penalties and GBS none, uh, it sounds like that's a little bit more normal. But look, just be careful. Look for a tie-up here by the referees. St. Vider had six penalties in that regular season finale game. The Titans only with two. Of course, the Titans were the least penalized team for a long time in the SHL before the Broncos took that title. Here's a nice pass by Wyatt Sherwood looking for Moldy. Now Sherwood scores! Boy, that's the goal that goes in. Wyatt Sherwood desperately, almost with one hand on his stick, flipped it to the net, and it found a hole in Grimaldi. Titans strike first. I think for, I think Sher Sherwood was just surprised that it came out of the corner back to him. Yeah, it looked like for a second there he was starting to skate outside of the zone, coming from the near corner, and as he passed by in front of the net, all of a sudden there's a puck coming to him. All he, he actually had his back to the net, 
and he just kind of redirected his stick towards the net and uh, got enough wood on it to beat Grimaldi. Grimaldi's probably the biggest surprise person on the ice right now. So the Titans up 1-0. Great start here in this game one of the SHL quarterfinals. Jason Dan trying to quickly make it two. Not able to do that. Now Nutley into the zone. Playoffs and regular season combined. That'll be goal number 10 for the varsity rookie, Wyatt Sherwood. Had nine in the regular campaign and his first career varsity playoff goal there. Dylan Herrer looking for a tip by Massaro. And Luke Winger makes the save. Also an assist for Jack Mulvey in his first game back. Yeah, already making an impact. And that, you know, Sherwood just, just got his head in the game. That's why he scored that goal. That, that puck could have just zipped right past him with no problem. And, uh, but he was there, he was paying attention, got a stick on the ice. All you young kids, Eddie Olchek used to say, right? Just get the, keep that stick on the ice, something good's gonna happen to it. You're gonna deflect the puck, you're gonna have the stick ready to shoot when you have to, and that's what happened with Sherwood. Drewinski shoots, Luke Winger makes the save. I'm sure he still says that on the Kraken broadcast. Stevens. For a week one, missed the net by a wide margin, and P.J. Hennigan. Now Struinski dumping this one down from neutral ice, and Jeff and Zhang got a point-blank chance as there was a bit of confusion there between Winger and the Titans skater, and Zhang is stopped by 39. I think that's uh, Adrian Sokol, who just thought that Winger was handing him the puck to skate behind the net to uh, reset the play, and it actually just went right underneath Sokol's stick to the St. Vider team uh, player, and it almost was a little bit of a disaster. Nick Ventura. Arcs this one high. Out to Sherwood, he's gonna have a breakaway. He shoots, and Grimaldi makes the save. Wyatt unable to get Number two of the game there. Nick Ventura, the way he arced that puck in the air is something that would have been whistled dead at a lot of rinks around here, but with the high ceiling at Grumby Weiss Center, he was able to set up his man. Now Ventura, far side half boards. A battle for the puck. And the puck's still loose. Adrian Sokol's got it. Tipped out by Sherwood, not past Kneeling. And Jake Kneeling over the blue line. Tried to dangle around Sokol, but Adrian grabbed the puck. Here come the Titans, maybe a three on two. Adrian Sokol wires one. And that's a pretty nice glove save there by Don Grimaldi. Yeah, he caught it right before it went into the corner. It's exciting when he shoots the puck. You know, Adrian Zokel gets a lot of steam out. He's got a heavy shot, right? Not only fast, but heavy. And so, um, uh, Grimaldi just made a better stop on him on that play. St. Vider leads shots on goal in this period, 11 to seven. Overall in the game, 20 to 18, as this one goes back to the Titans zone. It's funny, in spite of outscoring the Lions 15 to three in the season series, John, Two out of those three games, St. Vider outshot GBS. Here's a shot that's steered away by a Winger with his left pad. Of course, a 35 save shutout for Winger last game. Against this Lions side. He's done that twice against them this season. Carson Hart over to the left side. This shot misses the net. And it'll be taken out by Ban. Touched by Wojula and past center ice, so it won't be an icing as it goes down to the corner. Carson Hart lost an edge from a knee, tried to get it out, unsuccessful in doing that, so he'll get some help from his captain, Dylan Herrer. Herrer out to Massaro. 
Angelo Massaro could not get past the freshman Ryan Mulvey. Now Massaro behind the net. Lost the puck and it finally forced out to neutral ice by Glenbrook South. Charlie Hoffman to Hennigan, back for Hoffman, he shoots in, Winger makes the save. It was a nice give and go by the Lions. Not sure if that was the intended play coming into the zone, but it was a nifty one and Winger makes another big save. Yeah, I think he's bailing him out if you consider the last game plus this game, he's 57 shots without a without a goal. Now, I, you, you know, you're not gonna be able to depend on that, I don't think, for all this time. So GBS better start protecting him and uh, get rid of the garbage possibilities that St. Viator is getting. Three minutes to go in the second period, just one goal in this game. Belongs to varsity rookie Wyatt Sherwood. With an assist by his line mate Jack Mulvey. Eric Steenstrup gets taken down in open ice. He didn't have the puck. No penalty is going to be called. Now Adrian Sokol. Steenstrup right back to his feet. Takes another hit into the boards. And it gets sent down to the Titan zone. Struinski. Dumps it down. 2.15 to go in the middle frame. Titans looking to carry the lead into the intermission. Maybe add to it. Zach Freeman stretches his right leg back to stay on side. It didn't matter as the puck comes out to neutral. Angelo Massaro to Dylan Herrer. Herrer left circle, shoots, and that's deflected high up and out of play by Luke. 157 to go. <laughs> I don't know, Dylan, this is a little nerve-wracking. 157, we got a one nothing GBS lead. About ready to go into the third period of the clean sheet of ice. Possibly the score's, the score's gonna stay the game, stay the same uh, here. So, you know, boy, would that be fantastic if a GBS could put uh, an insurance goal up there to go into that third period two to nothing. Certainly you don't want St. Viator tying it up. This is just a momentum sport. And they're gonna come in that third period uh, tying the game up. Let's hope that doesn't happen. They can survive. The third period is the Titans' best period this season. On average, they allow 0 0.29 goals when it comes time for the third period. Here's Massaro. Got it to Zang and he scores! Jeff and Zang was in a position to accept that pass, knock it by, and it's his fifth goal of SHL play, and it makes it a tie game. GBS player tried to take it out of his zone, tried to do a little dipsy doodle, Nutley just picked his pocket so perfectly, and then moved into the deep far corner, almost by the goal line, but a beautiful centering pass to the trailing St. Viter player who snuck in behind another GBS player and beat Winger. Winger's got it, that's got to stick. It's one of those instances of the caster's curse right there, John. Not to your fault, but just kind of funny how it worked out. You were just talking about, you know, not allowing a goal here at the tail end of this period. We're back to a brand new hockey game. Now the only thing that's left for the Titans to do is survive conclusion of this period with a tie score. Jason Ban below the line. Wojula, under a minute to play. Tenths of a second on the clock. Dylan Herrer plays it out to neutral ice. Nice move there by the linesman to avoid making contact with that puck. Zach Freema, stuffed by Herrer. Got it back for Lochran, now picking it up is Wojula. Tried to center it for Jason Van, but it goes right to Carson Hart. Hart ships that one down into the Titan zone. Just 25 seconds to go in period two. Hoffman turns around, fires, and that misses the net. 
Oh, Evan Wenzel. Tried to center it, got it to the blue paint. The puck's still loose, no whistle yet. Puck still sitting there, not frozen. A pile up. And finally comes free and right to Jason Van. He will ship it out to end the second period. And the teams will head into the locker room. Wyatt Sherwood with the game's first goal. Jeffen Zhang with the response. Both of those took place in the second period and it'll be a 17 minute hockey game after the break. Now I'm sure some of you have, are thinking that I jinxed Wigger there and I do apologize, but it's such a strong performance for both this game and last game. You can't take that away from Winger, so you know he's still gonna have to depend on him when we get this fresh sheet of ice when we go into the third period. This is an, 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 an intense game. It's one to one, right? Uh, low scoring game, 24 shots for St. Fighter, 18 for uh, GBS. And so they're just gonna have to come out. I think they're gonna have to be a little bit, GBS will have to be a little bit more deliberate, get a few more opportunities on Grimaldi, and I think you'll get a pass one. All right, well, for John Ward and Dylan Ward, Gerard Boris on the camera. Thank you for watching the first two periods. We'll be back in about 10 minutes or so while the Zamboni does its job, and we will mute our mics in the meantime. Don't go anywhere. We've got an exciting finish coming up in game one of the SHL quarterfinals between Glenbrook South and St. Byron.
Um, it's, uh, they ran out of zombie and maple leaf. It's uh, uh, anti-hero. Welcome back to the South Hockey Radio Network, live on Mixler for radio listeners, live on Twitch for screen viewers. GBS and St. Viator tied after two periods, one goal apiece. I want to take a moment, John, at this point in the broadcast before the third period to dish out a couple shout outs. I want to shout out, of course, my former broadcast partner, Casey Crable, who I know is over at Iowa State, tuned into the game with a couple of his buddies. So, AC, it was one heck of a playoff run last season for the Titans. Hopefully, GBS can deliver here in this one. Also want to give a shout out to the great Sam Schwartz, of course, responsible for the power rankings on the SHL Instagram, which I'm sure plenty of our audience knows about. Of course, to my girlfriend, Michaela Minahane, who is tuned in from her apartment in Chicago. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, I know got a lot of our family, John, that's tuned in as well, and your friends as well. Want to give a shout out to them. And of course, just to everyone who's tuned in right now, major shout out for tuning in to our broadcast. I know we've probably got a lot of St. Viator fans that are here on the stream as well. This being a big playoff game, uh, no, it's, it's a pleasure to be broadcast, broadcasting it for all of you people. Yeah, I think that for everybody who's here, it's going to be a pretty exciting third period. We've got a 24 to 18 St. Peter shot out goal lead. We have a tie game, one to one. We've got 17 minutes this is the third period. We've got a fresh seat of sheet of ice, and we've got a couple of two really, really hot goaltenders. And so we're just going to see who comes out up on top of this one. GBS is definitely going to have to make more of an offensive push. They're just going to need more opportunities. If they can just do that, and some of those pucks are going to get past for a I think GBS, on the other hand, is doing a good job of, of trying to keep the St. Bayern players on the outside instead of trying to get right up and close the way that first period ended up. And so they, so Philbin probably gave them a good lashing about that. And they've done a pretty good job of keeping the shots on the outside. 17 minutes on the clock. The Titans looking to win game one of the SHL playoffs for the first time ever. John, in the history of the SHL playoffs, number two seeded teams against the seven seeded team in all games played since the formation of the league have got a 17 and two record in playoff games. The number two seed has swept the number seven seed every single time except for once in 2020 Loyola Gold, the number seven seed that year, upset GBN who was the two seed in three games. Well Dylan, that's more of a trend than anybody would say. But, you know, it's, it's just funny how hockey works sometimes. If you take a look at the President Cup's winners of the National Hockey League in the entire history of the league, you're only talking about 22% of the time does the President's Cup's team, uh, the, the team that finished first in the league win the Stanley Cup. It gets even worse than that if you look at you know, recent history since they went from a 16 league to a 30 team league back like in 1975. Right, it's down into the teens. So um, you just gotta, you gotta come out, you gotta play hard, and you gotta fight for every goal, um, and you gotta lace them up, and you gotta play the game. And GBS hopefully 
I'm not going to take anything for granted here. You know, maybe on paper they look a little bit better. Uh, they got to go out and win this game. They got to go get it. John, speaking of that fact or stat, I should say that in the last six seasons, the President's Trophy winners have not even made it past the second round. Unbelievable. Jack Mulvey, if you're watching this back, close your ears. Of course, a Boston Bruins fan. And we are back underway here for the third period. Both goals you see on the scoreboard took place in the second period after a scoreless first. Wyatt Sherwood broke the ice and then Jeff and Zhang tied it up. Both these teams upset their opponent in the quarterfinals last season in three games. GBS was seeded number six last season, beat Stevenson, St. Vider the number five seed, beat York. Only one will make it to the semis two years straight. Here's an icing by St. Viator. And John, you go palms up, I agree. I'm not sure what the lion skater was trying to do there. Yeah, that wasn't any pass, that wasn't anything except I'm gonna move the puck down. He had a chance to pull it out of the, he had a chance to get it out of the uh, his own zone, even skate it out versus shoot it out. He decided not to do that. Titans looking for just their fourth playoff victory in the SHL in 20 postseason games in this league. Three and 17 record in playoff games with two of those wins coming last year against Stevenson. Don't forget they did lose game one of that series, came back to win it in three games. And that's why you've got a best two out of three. Wyatt Sherwood dumps this one down, goes below the goal line and Here's Jake kneeling with it. Struinski shoots, and that's in and out of the glove of winger. Wenzel down below the line, and a pass goes to neutral ice. Jake kneeling will force his Lions to regroup. Neutral ice battle, Steenstrup involved. Taken by Struwinski, who takes a hit from Jack, Jack Mulvey. And the physicality ramping up here early in the third period. Between these two SHL makeshift rivals. O'Neal to Jeff and Zhang, who scored the Lions goal in this game. And down to Vanderplug. Adrian Sokol to Callahan in neutral ice. Matt Callahan takes a shot that gets deflected by Voris and high out of play. 14.42 to go in the third, 1-1 one, one score. Callahan's had some pretty good speed coming over that blue line. He just didn't see Stevenson trailing him. He could have just left it there and GBS would have had a really, really good shot on that as everybody was moving back towards the goalie. Of course, if you follow the GBS Titans hockey team on Instagram, you may have seen the superlatives, the awards voted by each individual player. Matt Callahan won the award for fastest skater. Now Ryan Mulvey flips this one high and that touches the Stanchions here at the Glenview Ice Center up at the ceiling. Something that's hard to do at this rink with such a high ceiling separating the top of the rink from the ice. Zach Freeman looking for his sixth goal against St. Viator in his fourth game against them this season. On the face off, down to Almber. Asper Wojula out to Freemuth with speed. Zach Freemuth. Threw it to the net. Jason Van got a tip on target. And Grimaldi with another big save for the Lions. Almasaro to Wilson. Sean Wilson. Now Nutley threw a shot towards the net. Winger probably wasn't expecting it. But he had to make a quick save. A lot of velocity on that shot. Jason Van. Looking to extend a four-game point streak, two-game goal streak. But his shot is deflected up to the netting by Dom Grimaldi. Taylor, if you look at the scoreboard, 1-1, one 13-5 one, left to go in the third period. 
The longer this game goes, the more important the face-off is going to be. So you look to Jack Mulvey to win this draw. Uh, you look for the GBS players to win defensive zone draws to get possession of that puck because it's just going to play a really important role. Now Ventura with a backhander. That one wouldn't go. Another shot thrown to the net. Ventura got another shot. And that wouldn't go either. Jack Mulvey centering pass is blocked by a laying out Jake Neeling. Neeling out to neutral ice for Moran. Got it to Zhang who dumped it in. Stefan Zhang being pressured by Algren. Jack Mulvey pins him up to the corner. And out it comes for Wyatt Sherwood. Taken away by Neely. 13 minutes to go in the third period. Kneeling to P.J. Hennigan. Now it's going to be grabbed by Adrian Sokol. Shot thrown to the net and tipped by his own man Sokol, but Winger not forced to make a save. Now Callahan over the blue line down the right wing side, all the way to the corner. And it gets thrown to the far side boards for Struwinski. Hoffman backhands it into the Titans zone. Grant Lochran. Hoffman, now Stevens. Threw it out of harm's way for a moment. And now it's grabbed by Adrian Sokol. Off the skates of Hoffman, but didn't realize that. And that allows the Titans to clear it down. Matt Callahan just couldn't get there before an icing. I thought that was a pretty close call. Callahan, I thought, had good wheels, and I thought he beat the referee down there, but he blew it. Well, don't forget, John, here at the high school level, no hybrid icing. Doesn't matter who wins the race as long as the puck crosses the line before a player touches it, unlike the NHL. Okay, learn something new all the time. Similarly to how you're allowed to change your skaters on an icing, something you can't do in the National. Here's a awkward deflection and winger forced to make a pretty tight save. 12 minutes to go in the third period. Prima dumps this one down. Grimaldi tips it to Carson Hart. Now Carson Hart. The defenseman with just seven assists this season, no goals. He's one of three St. Vider Lions without any goals in the regular season. Zach Fremuth up high, Jason Band shoots, and the right pad save made by Dom Grimaldi. A goalie battle here in Glenview. 26 saves for Winger, 18 for Grimaldi. And a lot of high danger scoring opportunities for both teams. This game could easily be 3-3, even 4-4, based on the chances we've seen. Titan gets taken down, that's the goal scorer, Sherwood. Meanwhile, the other direction comes Nutley. Sean Nutley with a big hit taken by Owen Allenberg. And it goes to Adrian Sokol. Sokol to Sherwood. Sherwood to Ventura. Couldn't tip it past Neeling, and the Titans will enter the zone off sides. 10.40 to go in the third period. 1-1 score here in Glenview. Yeah, Sherwood got dumped in the offensive zone. He was lying on the ice for about five seconds, got up, thought he was skating for the bench, but then he just get, he just circled around and, and took a pass. So apparently, okay. We'll drop the puck in neutral ice, closest to the St. Viator bench. 10.40 to go in the third period, 1-1 score. Grabbed by Sherwood. Into the zone, couldn't get past Charlie Hoffman. Down to Adrian Sokol. Out to neutral ice it goes. Jake Neeling lost the puck. Wyatt Sherwood nearly stole it, but he couldn't get clean possession on that. Now here comes Moran. He takes a shot. 
That stop by Winger. We remain tied with 10.07 to go in the third period. I know it's a little bit looking ahead to the future, but want to remind all of our viewers and listeners that different rules here in the playoffs when it comes to overtime, instead of five minutes of three on three, then a shootout, it'll be an endless amount of 10 minute periods until there's a goal. There's no shootout. The first period of that OT would be five on five. The following would be three on three. Well, let's hope we don't get that way. Let's hope GBS is in their locker room safe and sound with a victory. Here's Stevens looking to grab the lead and couldn't stuff it by Grimaldi. And Grimaldi puts a glove on it. Puck leaked out, but the whistle had sounded. And 9.49 to go in the third period. What a smooth move by Stevens. He got in tight, tried to do a little toe drag, got around the defenseman, and almost, almost got that puck behind Grimaldi. That was a pretty exciting little play there. Drop the puck at the right face-off circle. The Titans with the best third period goal differential in the regular season. Plus 18, 26 four, eight allowed. Nothing in this period though as Asher Vanderplug threw it to the net and it took a couple deflections and stopped by Grimaldi. Now it's Hoffman. Charlie Hoffman dumping this one into the Titans zone. It'll go below the line. Adrian Sokol gave it up. Struwinski couldn't grab possession. Here comes Ventura. Nick Ventura with two goals in his last game against these very same St. Viator Lions. Couldn't get it cleanly into the zone. 9-10 to go in the third period. Collision by the Titan bench between Sokol and Hoffman. And the Lions will repossess the puck in their own end. Hoffman down to the corner. Jason Van grabbed it with his glove. Gets it out to neutralize. Cuffle will dump this one back down into the corner. GBS doing what they've been doing all season long on the defensive side. Won six straight games, allowing just two goals or fewer. They've only allowed one goal here in this game, but the offense is gonna need to pick up. It's only been five times this season they've scored one or fewer in a game. That's SHL and otherwise, by the way. Masaro toe drag, and Winger makes the save with his glove, a nifty looking one as well. You know, Masaro has been one of the best players out on that ice. I think him and Nutley going one and two, but all the way from the beginning of the game, He's making an impact. He's got, I don't know how many shots as an individual player Masaro has, but they're probably the most nerve-wracking ones for me to watch, probably the most nerve-wracking ones for Winger to save. Zach Fremuth wins the face-off. Wojula now tried to get it to Fremuth, but Wilson in the way. Effin Zhang out to Nutley. Sean Nutley shoots, and that goes wide of the target. Down to the corner. Played to the far side in the corner. Jason Ban Off the board, Zach Freema. Dumps this one down. Carson Hart. Missed a pass, and it'll go all the way down. Owen Allenberg pressuring, Zhang got it, tried to center it for Nutley, that didn't work. And it'll get deflected all the way back out to neutral ice. Adrian Sokol. Missed a pass and that'll be an icing, stopping play with 7.14 to go in the third period. Want to just take an opportunity right now to promote the hype video challenge presented by the SHL Network. Of course, you saw on our Instagram, you can create a one minute hype video for the SHL playoffs and there will be a winner decided that will be featured in the pregame of the first game of the SHL playoffs broadcasted on the SHL network. 
and of course, a $100 prize to the first place winner of that competition. So head over to the SHL Network on Instagram to enter. Grant Lochran got tripped up, no call. Titans have stayed out of the box this entire game. Only two penalties in the contest. Both were against St. Viator, about a minute, three seconds apart. Wyatt Sherwood into the zone. Sherwood takes a hit into the corner. Grant Lochran at the right point. Now it's kneeling. Angelo Massaro. Adrian Sokol now dumps this one down. Won't be an icing as Kneeling will grab possession. Just six minutes, 10 seconds to go in regulation time. Eric Steenstrup couldn't get it past Wenzel. Evan Wenzel down below the line for O'Neill. Eric Steenstrup out to neutral ice. O'Neill dumps it back down and got a hand pass whistled by the referee. And that'll stop the clock with 5.50 to go in the third period. Lions lead shots 30 to 20 and the game tied 1-1. And it looks at a little bit. It looks like St. Viter's kind of coming out here. They look like they wanted more. I don't think, you know, that that's that's the case, but GBS has got to put some more offensive threats at Grimaldi. Charlie Hoffman shoots. That's deflected by a Titan stick and high of the crossbar. Owen Olmberg. Second place defenseman of the year voting in the SHL for number 68, Olmberg. To Steenstrup. Eric Steenstrup being pressured on the boards. And finally, St. Vider picks it up. Hoffman tries to beat Winger from a tough angle. And Luke said no. The SHL goalie of the year, first place in voting. 5.17 to go in the third period, one all. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot. You take it from the far corner from the goal line, pretty much every goalie's gonna stop that. I will say this, though, and then, Looking at GBS out here, and you're not going to win this game if you're back to your own blue line. They seem to be, you know, having to go behind their net. They, they're just not looking forward enough. So they got to figure out how to get it out of their own zone with their heads up high and facing the opposing goal. Titans can't get it out of the zone. They'll come to the near side, Nick Ventura. Taken away by Zhang, throws it to the net, Struwinski. Didn't get that one by, Wyatt Sherwood plays it ahead, Nick Ventura skates ahead. Ventura chips this one into the zone, takes a one hop and grab by Grimaldi. John, we're in the final five minutes of regulation time here in game one of the SHL quarterfinals, a tie score here in Glenview. I like that move by Ventura. Ventura was one on four. What does he do? He just flips it up in the air. He gives Grimaldi a little bit of a problem. If he did nothing else, he made him a little bit nervous as the, as the puck bounced a couple of crazy bounces before it finally got to him. His fundamentals were sound as wingers were it was in the first period. He just got his whole body in front of him, made sure it hit him in the middle of his body. Massaro out to the attacking zone for the Lions. Hennigan tried to center it. Back for Massaro, but that didn't work. I mean, that's Muneo. Actually, it was Massaro. But we get a whistle here, stopping play with 4.37 to go in the third. Titans have initiated a running clock four times in the SHL season with the five goal difference. Two of those times were against St. Viator. A 15-3 goal differential in three games played against them. Five goals in each game. But we are all even here in the game that matters most. Fremuth to Ban. Jason shoots, and that one wires just wide of the net. Casper Wojula dumps this one down. Carson Hart chasing after it. 
Carson Hart loses an edge. Some fans wanted a penalty there, but it's pretty clear that he just fell on his own. We will play on. Dylan Herrer pressured by Freema, captain on captain battle. Angelo Massaro now brings it into the zone. Pressured by Olmberg. Massaro down in the corner. E.J. Hennigan. Looking for an option, got it to Neeling. He tried a backhander, Olmberg tipped this one ahead. Jason Band skates through neutral ice, dumps it down. It'll be grabbed by Grimaldi. Three and a half to go in regulation time tie. Owen Olmberg. Now Sherwood can't pick this one up. It'll be an icing against the Titans. And a defensive zone faceoff coming up. Luke Winger is now up to 31 saves tonight. They just posted another one, Dylan, 32. But uh, like I said, now those faceoffs are going to be key. Right here's a, a defensive end faceoff for GBS. They need to take possession of this puck and get it out of the zone. This face-off gets taken by the Lions. We'll go down to the zone. Adrian Sokol plays it off the glass and just outside of the zone. Lions will dump it in. Have to tag up. Battle for the puck on the near side board. Jake Neeling shoots, deflected high. And it did just hit the protective netting to go out of play. Less than three minutes to go in regulation. Yeah, that shot was about a foot above the crossbar, and uh, Winger just got a shoulder on it, tipped it into the netting. So here we go, another face-off. GBS zone. Jack Mulvey to take it. It's won by the Titans, Lochran, looking to get the puck out of the zone. Goes down below the goal line for Wenzel. Now Adrian Sokol. Does get it outside the zone. Kuffel will dump it back in. 1-1 score. All the scoring took place in period number two. Nick Ventura chasing this one down. And it's another tight icing. And again, it'll be a defensive zone faceoff in GBS's zone. Nobody's coming off the bank, so it looks like it's going to be Jack Mulvey to take this draw. He, I don't, you know, I'm not, we're not keeping those statistics for the game, but I think he's doing a pretty good job. Okay, now they switch him up. Titans, of course, get the last change. Here's the home team. Of course, if you don't know what that means, St. Vider, as the visitors, must put their lineup on the ice first, and the Titans get the advantage as the home side to put their skaters on based on what the away team does. Lions will have that advantage, that advantage in game two. Jason Van centered it to the slot. That's just out of the reach of Freeman. 204. Van. Now Moran. Out to neutralize. Here comes Jeff and Zhang. The St. Vider Lion goal scorer, Zhang, 83 in white. Back up high to Carson Hart. Shoots and that's off the post. Luke Winger bailed out by the iron. And Jason Van gets it out to neutral ice. Carson Hart close to his first goal of SHL play this season. Now Zach Freema skating through neutral ice. He will dump this one down the left wing side. 125 to go in regulation. Sean Wilson in the corner. Out to neutral ice and dumped back down into the zone by the Titans. Carson Hart, the man who just drew iron, can't get it out of the zone and Sherwood will dump it back down. Down to the final minute of regulation time. Game one of the SHL quarterfinals, 1-1 between the two seed and the seven seed. Ventura centers it, Sherwood tipped it on net and Grimaldi with another save, 46 seconds on the clock. Yeah, I would say that that's the save of the game. 
because Grimaldi was totally caught off guard as that Sherwood tip just was heading for the corner and then all of a sudden, boom, it's on net and it hit him right in the middle. So, man, I did nerve wracking. I thought I was putting my hands up for a GBS goal. John, I'm not wearing my Fitbit at the moment, but I'm very curious to know what my heart rate is. I assume it's pretty high, I can feel it. Adrian Sokol, slap shot from the point, high of the net. 40 seconds to play in the third period. EJ Hennigan out to Wenzel. Evan Wenzel, got it around Sokol, just for a moment, didn't get possession afterwards. Eric Steenstrup gloves it down, can't bring it into the Lions zone clearly. Hoffman, tried a shot that's blocked in close by Lockrit. Zach Freemuth, now to Jason Van, out to neutralize it goes again. And again gets around Lochran. And it's safe by the Titans. Grant Lochran gets it out to neutral ice. And there's the horn. We are going to overtime in game one of the SHL quarterfinals. In 10 minutes, already on the clock here in Glenview. It's almost nine o'clock, our local time here, and we got 10 extra minutes of hockey. Maybe, at least that. Maybe more. Well, I, it's not at least that, but it could be any amount that, of course, mentioned it earlier in the broadcast. These games go to endless overtime. It's not over until a team scores the game winner. There will be no shootouts. It'll be 10 minutes of five on five hockey. And then after that, if there's no score, It'll be three on three for the following periods, 10 minutes after 10 minutes after 10 minutes until someone can get a goal. And we got to look to GBS, who has played a really, really disciplined hockey game for the most part, at least penalty wise. They have yet to go to the box all night tonight. And so sometimes you look to the overtime for a possible mistake to be made. And so you just got to hope that they stay out of the box, maybe you can get a power play themselves. Well, the Titans have gone to overtime a handful of times this season, and they've only won one game via the OT winner. They've gotten a couple wins in the shootout this season, but the only guy who scored an overtime game winner for the Titans this season was Jack Mulvey at All-State Arena against Loyola Gold. That's it. Yeah, you're gonna have to look for Zach Freeman, Jason Van to show up here, make a, make, make a statement here in this overtime period. On the other end, you look at St. Viter, you're looking at Massaro, Nutley, who bring a lot of speed to the game and can pounce on a mistake pretty quickly. So, Looking for GBS to put out their best players. Well, they're gonna, and they have Jack Mulvey, who's done a pretty good job on the faceoff. So he's gonna stay out there. I see Freeman, I see Jason Band. So it looks like, you know, they're putting everything they've got on the ice. See Jim Philbin clapping his hands on the bench. He's hyping his team up. Go figure. First game of the SHL playoffs goes to OT. Five skaters aside. Next goal wins the game. Sean Wilson. In his own end, we've switched sides again, by the way. Massaro back pass for Dylan Herrer. Herrer dumps this one into the zone, deflects off the stick of Almberg. Now Owen Almberg from a knee will get it to Ventura. Passes it to neutral ice for Jason Van. Jason Van being pressured by Hart, centered it, looking for Freemuth, but that goes past his stick. Jason Van with the OT winner for the Titans last season in game three against Stevenson to send them to their first semifinals ever. Carson Hart, back for Wilson. The captain defenseman, Sean Wilson, will dump this one in. Close to an icing, but no call. Now it's Wenzel picking it up, playing it off the boards. It'll go to Hoffman on the other side. Hoffman can't get it past the skate of Holmberg. This clearing attempt kept in by Hart. This one tipped and just wide of the net. Asper Wojula plays it out to Wyatt Sherwood. Jack Mulvey, could he be the hero in his first game back? Mulvey plays it below the goal line. Comes up high to Owen Holmberg. 
Wyatt Sherwood shoots and the save by Grimaldi. Rebound, Lodula tried to set up Mulvey and that one just out of his reach. Evan Wenzel into the zone. Plays it below the line, picks it up, tried to bank it off winger. That didn't work. Kuffel shoots and that one goes way high above the glass and out of play for a stoppage with 8.14 to go in OT1. Great play, Dylan. I didn't see who, which GBS player put a stick on that, but that shot came from the point. I think it made a lot of people nervous. And as it was making its way there, a GBS player was able to tip that into the netting. Now you're gonna have a defensive zone face-off. Looks like they're gonna have Stevens out there uh, who might take this draw. Yes, indeed, against the goal scorer, Zhang. Zhang wins it. Here's Hennigan shooting, and Luke Winger with another save. It's his 32nd stop of the evening. St. Viator wins that draw, and then they can get the shot on net. I mean, those, you've got to expect that. So you got to do what you can to win those draws and be able to start moving that puck out of your zone. Face-off win for the Lions. Hennigan shoots, he gets stuffed. Here comes Steenstrup. Chipping this one down to the Lions zone. It'll be an icing as he was not past center ice red. 8.02 to go in the fourth period. Titans and St. Viator in game one of the SHL quarterfinals. One goal apiece, both were in the second period and we're in overtime now. Next goal wins situation. Huffle. Intercepted by Locker, now Callahan will dump this down. Goes below the Viator goal line. Matt Callahan being pressured by Zhang. Callahan in the corner. Kicks the puck to his stick. Still being pressured by Kuffel, now Stevens has it. Up high to Locker, he shoots. That gets deflected aside. Now out to Adrian Sokol. Eric Steenstrup. Couldn't get it past a couple of Viator defenders. They've got a four on two. O'Neal got it to Kneeling. Tried to get it down low to Zing, but a nice play by Grant Lochran to get his stick in the way. Zach Freemuth. Adrian Sokol. Out to Steenstrup. Now Freemuth again. This gets deflected away, goes to Herrer. Now Nutley, Zach Freemuth racing back in there to get that out of harm's reach. Jason Van had three overtime game winners last season. He comes into the zone. Taken away by Carson Hart. Hart skates through the neutral zone, steps over the blue line down the right wing side, shoots! Luke Winger almost made a mistake there, but he covers up the puck. He tried to just steer it aside, took a funny hop, and was just sitting there in the blue paint for a moment. But he does get the freeze with 6.39 to go in OT. Yeah, if you look at the GBS fan section, you saw about 100 people's hand go up to their heart on that one. Here in OT, since we've switched sides, teams are now shooting on the same sides as their fans. Jack Mulvey in the dot again. Wenzel will take the draw, bring it back up high to Hart. Down low, Owen Almberg will play it off the boards. Doesn't come out of the zone, Neeling kept it alive. Hoffman, intercepted by Jack Mulvey. Titans can't get it out just yet. Here's Struinski. Vitaly Struinski. Now Hoffman. Shoots, and Winger makes the save right by the S logo on his chest. Well, the GBS has got to get a little bit more serious about getting that puck out of the zone. Every single time that they fail to do that, uh, uh, St. Viator is getting a shot on winner, right? And so right now, they're just counting them up, 35 shots on net, but at least five, excuse me, maybe uh, at least three in this overtime period. Freemuth and Zhang. Zach wins the draw, goes below the goal line, center to the blue paint, goes up high to Kneeling. Jake Kneeling shoots, and Winger will cover that one up. 
I like what Winger's doing now. He's not taking any chances. Every time a buck comes to him, he's positioning his body so that he can actually get the glove on it or get to the, the meat of his body. You know, it's hitting him right on the S, and I think he's doing that by design. He just doesn't want to give up the rebound. He hasn't yet, so the strategy is working. Face off one by St. Viator. They'll play it below the goal line. Comes to the corner. This is intercepted by Nick Ventura. Plays it to Jason Band. Band couldn't get ahead of Hart, and Nutley will backhand it out to neutralize again. Almberg to Ban. Goes down by the St. Viator bench for Owen Almberg. Almberg plays it out to Ban, tipped it ahead for Freema. Zach Freema takes a shot. That's blocked by Wilson. Dylan Herrer now. Out to Nutley. Sean Nutley into the zone, centered it. And Massaro trips over Olmberg. All the St. Vider fans want a penalty. They're not going to get one. They're still shouting for one. And Owen Olmberg out to Ventura. The Titans come the other way. Nick Ventura puts on the brakes and will backhand it in while the Titans make a line change. Lions trying to catch them in doing that. That looked close to offsides, no call, and Jack Mulvey will pick it up and come the other direction. Wyatt Sherwood into the zone, shoots, and the save by Grimaldi. Under five minutes to play in the first overtime period. Jeff Zhang will dump this one in. Adrian Sokol's got it. Tried to play it out of the zone, but Neeling rushed in there. Shoots in, Winger makes the save. Jake Neeling on the rebound. Up high, kept in the zone by Kuffel. He'll go down to P.J. Hennigan with it. Hennigan pressured by Sokol. Hennigan still with the puck, it goes to Jack Mulvey now. Jack Mulvey gets it to Wyatt Sherwood. Jack Mulvey into the zone down the right wing side, shoots in the save by Grimaldi. 3.58 to go in OT. Still tied at one. What a rocket shot by Mulvey. Came over the blue line, he had a whole head of steam, and he was able to just really get all of his body, just lean on that one foot, and uh, make Grimaldi make a really, really good, sharp save. Intense stuff from the Glenview Ice Center, John. Well, it's fun. I mean, you know, I already have gray hair. They put a gray hair on your head. <laughs> Titans with an attacking zone face off. The big guns out there. Fremuth Ban, Ventura, Ryan Mulvey, Owen Almberg. Taken by the Lions, it's Jake Neeling. Jake Neeling through neutral ice. Sean Nutley now. Nutley got it down low. Massaro got a tip on it. Goes on target and Winger steers it away. Now here come the Lions again. It's Dylan Herrer. And the save by Winger with 3.32 to go in the OT period. Sorry to say, Dylan, just another example of the GBS player kind of doing a backhander to get it out of the zone. Only about half the speed of what he, what he should have had. I mean, the puck's got to get out of the zone. You don't want to you know, look back on this game and say that it, that's the thing that was a, a problem for us. D-zone faceoff for the Titans. Mulvey in there to take it. Won by the Lions for a moment, but then the Titans will get possession. Here comes Grant Lochran. The other way come the Lions on a steal. It's Vitaly Struinski. Couldn't get it past Adrian Sokol. Now goes down to the corner. Out to Eric Steenstrup. Steenstrup skates through neutral ice. And Jack Mulvey let that one go over his stick. Hoffman will dump this down. Adrian Sokol grabs it, plays it to the near side half boards. Now out to neutral ice again. It's taken by Jones, so he thought Steenstrup gets tripped up. And that'll be a penalty against the Lions. And the Titans, with two minutes, 52 seconds to go in OT, are going to have their third power play of the hockey game. Dylan, that was just a speed penalty. 
speed will get you, it just forces you to make a pretty, you know, uh, uh, defensive play that's not too smart just because you're being beaten. So you'll take the guy down, maybe a good penalty, GBS player might have come in uh, just one-on-one -on, -one on the goalie. So let's see what happens here. Zach Freemuth with five power play goals this season is ready for the faceoff. And dropped unfairly will do it again. Key moment for the Titans, usually in these playoff games, the refs try to put the whistles in their pocket a little bit, but that was clear as day. Wojtyla in the dot instead, wins the faceoff, back for Allenberg, Ryan Mulvey, down to Freema. Zach Freema drops it off Mulvey, now up high to Freema again, shoots, and that hit the crossbar! They try and clear it out, but Ryan Mulvey laid out to block it. And finally, they do send it the length. Boy, John, that is maybe the fifth or sixth post combined by these teams in this game. What a shot by Freeman from just inside the, well, about 10 feet inside the blue line. Had the goalie beat. Here comes Freeman again. He shoots and scores! Zach Freeman was the one that hit the crossbar on that goal, on the almost goal, and then we just had to wait about another 10 seconds for him to come back and beat Grimaldi way, way up high. It was a two on one. Zach had a man to his left, took the shot himself, and it was a water bottle shot. And no handshakes after the game, they'll wait till the series is over. St. Vider makes their way off the ice. For the first time in SHL history, the Titans have won an opening game of a playoff series, and they will have a chance to advance to the semifinals and sweep the Lions in game two on Sunday afternoon. What a hockey game in Glenview. Two to one the final. A real nail biter, Dylan. 40 shots on goal. Winger stops 39 of them to take the victory. I do think that he's your man, the star of the game, as we come on here. I mean, Zach Freeman scored that really flashy last goal, and, you know, he's gonna, has top consideration, but Winger put up 39 saves tonight, most of them pretty, pretty difficult. So once again, he's, you know, he's the structure, he's the foundation of his team, and they're really, really uh, skating, skating for him tonight. They pulled out the victory. Unless he scored one his freshman season when I wasn't around, John, that is Zach Freemuth's first career overtime game-winning goal. Just the second time the Titans have won with a walk-off goal this season in the five-on-five -five playoff overtime. They needed seven minutes and 47 seconds to get it done, and on the power play, they do it. And the puck's still sitting in the net. Yeah. The linesman will grab it. Oh, what a game, what a game. Thank yeah. you all for tuning in. It was a phenomenal start to the series, phenomenal start to the postseason for the Titans. And again, they will have a chance to clinch the SHL semifinals and sweep this series on Sunday afternoon. That game will be a 2 p.m. start, an afternoon start pre-Super Bowl. So hey, if you don't know what to do before the big football game, come out to Mount Prospect Ice Arena for game two of this series. Or if you can't make it in person, you know we'll be there on Twitch and on radio. John Ward, do you have any final thoughts? Just to tell you that high school hockey is very, very exciting. That game, you're only talking about a three goal game. But it was a two to one victory for GBS. And I have to tell you, it's a nail biter all the way. But a very, very exciting night for me to be here. Dylan, thank you very much for inviting me. It's just a, it's just a pleasure to spend time with you and be in the booth. Mount Prospect Ice Arena, 2 p.m. this coming Sunday. Be there, be on the air, just don't miss out. And of course, make sure you stay right here on Twitch 
the JV GBS Titans opening up their playoff series against Glenbrook North right here at Glenview Ice Center. Gerard Boris obviously will be broadcasting that game as always until Sunday on the varsity side. We thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of your Wednesday night, everybody.